while most of the attention which we focus on the immune system concerning new diseases such as coronavirus revolve around the adaptive immune response, the lymphocytes which produce antibodies and produce long-term immunity. There are also roles played by the immune cells of the innate immune system. Um, certainly, the adaptive immune system and the lymphocytes need cells of the innate immune system. There are cells like dendritic cells and macrophages, which would go to a site where cells die. They would uh, ingest uh, the uh, foreign material, uh, including proteins and peptides made by a coronavirus in this case, and present it to the lymphocytes. And so, these antigen-presenting cells help to train the lymphocytes and alert them to danger. So certainly they have a significant role in stimulating and activating the adaptive immune response. Neutrophils are another white blood cell in the innate immune system. They are the most common circulating white blood cell. They are typically the first ones to arrive at the site of an infection, being able to respond to inflammatory signals and uh, squeezing uh, between endothelial cells to reach the uh, infected uh, area. There they perform a great deal of phagocytosis, including the phagocytosis of anything which has bound antibodies. So when antibodies stick to something, say coronavirus, that makes it easy for cells of the innate immune system like neutrophils to recognize them and to ingest them. So neutrophils undoubtedly serve important roles in fighting coronavirus. However, it is more complex than this because those who suffer severe infections, which can demand time in intensive care or even be life-threatening, it is typically not the virus directly which causes these negative consequences, but rather the body's exaggerated immune response to the infection. One of the best predictors of a negative outcome is an elevated neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio, where neutrophil numbers increase in an exaggerated fashion, especially in those uh, which will demand intensive care treatment and whose lives are in danger. Neutrophils, macrophages, and other cells of the innate immune system are sources of inflammatory signals. Under normal conditions, inflammation is good. It is a sign which attracts white blood cells to problem areas so that they can deal with infections. But in coronavirus infections, um, the major problem which threatens individuals' lives is an overproduction of the signals associated with inflammation, what is known as a cytokine storm after the local hormones were cytokines, and specifically an increase in the number that promote inflammation. In conclusion, while it might be tempting to focus only on those parts of the immune system which provide long-term immunity and produce antibodies, the reality is that there are many parts of the immune system involved in coronavirus infections. They interact with each other and it is a dysregulation of their interactions which can lead to many of the worst health consequences associated with the disease.